every inst- fabrics of Nigeria institution, make them weak. Planted, what they did was, if you write from the tertiary institution, they planted everybody, make sure that their people are the one at the helm of our fears in all ministries. You understand? So if you are coming out as um, as uh, the citizen, you are you have leader. You will know that person that uh, you are following behind is a is a betrayer. Mm-hmm. Is one of them. Mm-hmm. See, that is the irony. Leading you back to that. Is, exactly. So the NLC can never have any protest or any meaningful negotiation on behalf of Nigerian people because their leaders have. They are all. Uh, they are all compromised. You understand? They are all government agents that are planted there. All you see that they are acting there is just Nollywood. You know, they come out, they say they no green, no green. Now, Nollywood, people, they, you just they watch. You know, the more you look, the less you the see, less like, you uh, see. that's the where 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 a week. You understand? The less you see. Uh, the, the less you see, you know? So The my, more you look, the less you see. The more you look. And oh, I, I'm sorry. My go finally, yeah. Yes, sir. Um, just uh, it, um, to throw, uh, uh, um, to comment on uh, there's one opinion that uh, you raised, you know. Um, uh, I is um, your opinion is to me is good, mm. but at the same time, it has a is that to me it have a two face. Okay. You know, it's good that uh, we look at the two sides of the coin, okay. you know, so that um, we can balance the equation somehow. You know, um, I use uh, Ukraine as a, as a case study. Ukraine, when the Ukraine, Ukraine war happened, a lot of our people that have uh, houses there, you know, everything was gone. You understand? They have somebody who is now in the UK a friend of mine, he left there, he lost everything. Yeah, he is now in UK with his family. He started that fresh. He's not what I saw. I think what he was doing is re- Lebra uh, in construction. I saw. I I, I, that, I saw him. Uh, he was telling me. Okay. So what? Uh, whatever we are uh, in uh, any way, anyhow, there's no place like home. No matter how. Uh, where you are, as long as it's not from your your um, uh, grassroots, where you come from, one day anything can bust. Maybe a war, anything. Where you will be running to is where you are coming from. No matter even if the place is have uh, gone down, you go and look for one uh, cure. You know. So we all we are born. When we are born, our father have houses. You know. If we don't have, if our father did not build one house around. We won't be inside. No matter how small it is, rain will be beating us. Okay, so wherever where we go, you know, it's good that at least even if we don't build a, a, a mansion like a, a big upstairs and this, uh, have have a bungalow at least at worst have a bungalow a bung, bung, bungalow back home. Wow. Are you getting me? You never can tell what can happen at uh, any time anywhere. There's no place wow, like home anywhere you are. Could be war yes, anywhere you are, it's never your home. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Even the bank can close. You will even have the money to assess anything. All you have to do is to run it with your bag or your back of your uh, and the back sack and be running. You get what I mean? I do. So that I is do. the other side of the coin. You get what I'm saying? I know. You know? Well, so you are right on your own side. At the same time, we have to look from the other side. As, you know, uh, so that our people will also balance the equation. Yeah, Your information is very powerful, yeah? yeah you. So thank yeah. you very much. God bless uh, you. Yeah. And Keep you the too, good work, Prince Ejiman. Thank you so much for that, okay? And yeah. yeah you're welcome, sir. Nice one. And you too. Yes, sir. So that's uh, Prince Jejeman, uh trying to kind of further enlighten us that uh, we shouldn't see things always from the same lens. Uh, the chance you have is that uh, you can see from other lenses too, you know, whatever works for you. But that's a good one. Okay. Uh, like I said, if you see those who probably, I mean, there could be, I believe there would be uh, Nigerians as well who probably have been living in uh, Ukraine, you know, for a long time before shit hit the fan. And right now, nobody is even, nobody's 
probably able to get any money or any of their investment or anything at all, if there is. So I understand that. So uh, let people just do what really work for them, okay? You weigh your options and all of that and do what works for you. Mm -hmm. So in between, while we are still here, okay, before I take another call, there is news of uh, the son of uh, Bruno State uh, Governor. Uh, what's his name again? Safan, I've been a Zaran or something. That's his name. But, so they said he's uh, schooling in India. Uh, got into a, a brawl with uh, a Chinese guy uh, because the Chinese guy was coming for his uh, girlfriend. And then he sort of uh, eat the guy, and the guy lost consciousness and died. So when I saw that, I was like, oh. But well, somehow, I still felt like mm, there was no much information other than just somebody posted it, and then Sarah reporter picked it. And that would have made it original. But it wasn't enough. The name of the Chinese guy that died wasn't mentioned. Um, you know, there are so many things that I left out, in my own opinion, so I kept to myself all day. Then I have seen that a lot of people have been trying to debunk the story, okay? So at first, there was this uh, uh, video, which happened to be, like, mute, no audio. They said the boy was... Uh, as his father's house in Borono, the government house in Borono. But well, many were like, no. I mean, come on, if you are there, just make a video. Now, in all sincerity, because I got this just not long uh, after I have set up for the program tonight, I still felt like I should put it in, right? I do not know if this video is now or not, but he is able to kind of make a proper video to say, he is in Nigeria and he is not in Indian jail. And this is the video. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear esteemed Nigerians. I am Umar Babagana Umar Azulum. I'm here to address the damaging falsehood that had been made against me. It has come to my notice that a baseless gossip accusation made against me, saying that I killed someone at nightclub. This is not true. They want to tarnish my father's name. I have been with my family since two months now in my duguri right now. Hey. Immediately he released that video. Some people were just like, Na governor son be this. Na governor picking the talk like that. Then others were just like, hey, listen. Kanuri is our language in Borono State. Kanuri is our language. English is our third, uh, whatever, whatever language. Like, oh, okay, fair enough. So if a governor Pekin talks like that, despite all the millions of uh, your stolen money that they are spending on them, then maybe you shouldn't probably like uh, blame uh, the children of uh, the poor who have no access to 10% of the type of uh, resources that these guys have access, 1%. You know? So there's so many things people say about uh, the children of politicians. But when I heard the part that a uh, young man killed someone, I was like, no, that's extreme. You know, I really wish that's not true. You know what I mean? Like, I hope that's not true. So there were other things said about the boy that uh, he was once caught by the EFCC with some large amount of money. The airport that his father came out, I mean, came to sort of bury the case by saying the money was meant for a car supply contract awarded to him. That's why he has such money and they let him go. So I also tried to look for anything at all I could get on that. I didn't get anything. So that's why I couldn't really build a story around him. It was pure gossip, essay, makeup stories, and all of that. And these have been consumed. You may not like uh, them. You may not like him, Papa. I don't like him too. You know, and their children are not, are not innocent. But I would rather kind of, you know, 
use the proper evidence to nail them and I can say whatever I want about them. So on this one, I don't think, right? You should be consuming every of the stories that you see out there. Sometimes because they kind of like, you know, probably make you feel good. Yeah, they have arrested his son. Let's say he's going to blame it. Because you see, that's one thing that the poor people, or all of us, the poor Nigerians, eh? some of us who have been brainwashed to believe that uh, we do not have any power to face these people. We do not have any power to actually like uh, tame them or fight them or whatever you want to call it because they have so much power eh, that only karma can help us deal with them karma so karma became the we share tool for the poor and the weak weak men and women you will see you will see your karma you will face your karma you will know that what you all these things you are doing all these things you are doing eh, you will see what god will do you will know that God, eh, God loves the poor people. And you cannot be suffering the poor people. And you will see even your children will suffer. Your children, children will suffer. No, they won't. Okay? They won't. That's not how it works. Okay? So there are some things they will do to you. And there is no karma or God that is going to... And if, if they die, if they go to jail, uh, if... Uh, they lose all the money, probably because they wasted the money. None of this is going to change your, your lives or possibly return all they have taken from you back to you. None of it. So what is now the advantage of the karma? Eh? You probably think, okay, yeah, it's because we want them to cry too. So after that, in court, if a politician cry. Even poor people, poor people, they get cancer, they die. Rich people, they get poor, uh, cancer, they, they die. Poor people, they get stroke, they die. Rich man, they get uh, heart attack, they die. People, they die like normal. You cannot rely on that and wait until that happens to them so that you can feel good about it. And say, yes, thank you, God. God this God is marvelous. It's not. That's stupidity. And they're stealing from you. Develop the courage to face them. Face and fight. It's not always like uh, maybe God of karma will come and deal with them. He will not deal with anybody. Don't deceive yourself. They will enjoy the money. Yeah. All this money they are seeing, they don't get peace of mind, my brother. How do you know? Is that not what they tell you? Is that not how we kind of try to make ourselves feel good? How do you know they don't have peace of mind? They don't get peace of mind, my brother. All their children, they are bad children. All these things, eh? if you look at them, they are suffering so many things. Do you think they are suffering because they stole your money? They will still suffer even if they never stole your money, like steal anything from you. They will still suffer. Whatever they are suffering when they steal from you. So why not just let them suffer their suffer without stealing from you? So why, not, why, why are you satisfied that they will suffer and you are okay with them suffering? Huh? So they are suffering. There is no camera that is going to take all those things or return everything they have stolen from you back to you. You would have to have the courage to take it back from them. That is why they will use everything to discourage you from doing that. It's up to you. Whatever they get away with is because you let them get away with it. Listen, this video, I don't know how recent or how old it is, but from the source I got it from, it's presented that this happened just uh, yesterday in Ghana, where people are so angry at uh, their own uh, political class in this part of Ghana. And they had a chance of showing it. See, there's something brewing across Africa. And I'm looking around. I have seen politicians in Uganda reacting. I have seen, uh, you know, I've seen the people of uh, Cambodia. What's that place called again? Cambodia also, right? But well, that's not Africa, no doubt. I have seen new development across Africa where people are already like raising awareness on we need to stand up, we need to fight, we need this or that. But this one, was Ghana. Hey, watch it. The president back right back. You better brought you. We have to make a bow. Madam, Madam, Jaga is here too. I see. They are coming to shoot you. Some of the bad boys. Shoot you. Thank <laughs> you.
we are going after their politicians too but their own is not national yet a lot of things are brewing all across uh, the continent people are going after the western uh, puppets who have sacrificed their people's uh, welfare for what of a dollar dollar uh, bills and their people have become more aware and awake that uh, if that of Nigeria should kick off and last five days alone, it could trigger more than just Nigeria. From what I have gathered so far, yeah, they will do everything to make sure that it never happens, of course. But what are you going to do? You're going to let them stop you? They said the people in diaspora are the ones who are encouraging protests. It is not true. The thing is this, it is not the people in the diaspora that are suffering or facing this uh, directionless regime. In fact, the destruction of Nigeria and Nigeria economy, the Nigeria people, has uh, sort of uh, reached all of the Nigerians who are in the diasporas too, except for those who live in the Naya. As the economy, as the country continues to go down economically, a lot of our people are going through it too, trying to subsidize their loved ones in that place. Do you think when, when, they, when, they, when, you, are, when you are told to stand up and then face these rules, and the people who are mobilizing and enlightening and encouraging everybody to stand up now before you all die, or whatever they are still yet to unleash on you. Do you think we don't have our family members there who are also going to join you there? Eh? If you think that uh, standing up against your oppressors that want you to die quietly without making any noise, facing them is to keep you alive, uh, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Or standing up to go face them is uh, sending you to your death. Of what use is your life that is always worthless? So the criminals that could snap it away, you know, snap it out of you any moment of what? Or you can build the worth of your life. Indeed. If you stand up, you are those who are indeed facing and then experiencing the wrath. It's only when you're not ready. That you probably think you needed somebody from abroad to encourage you to stand up for your rights. Like. Or more liberal like that. So uh, we started late and we uh, couldn't really like, uh, you know, match uh, all the time. So we just cut it into half. Okay. So I'm going to say uh, a big uh, thank you to everyone. Okay. Let's finish early. And tomorrow is another day. Thank you so much for your time. Aduke, I got your, uh, I got my cup of coffee uh, from you. And I want to say uh, a big uh, thank you. Same thing to Kinsley. I got yours too. And to everyone else, mm -hmm. thank you. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. This is another day. And it's always going to be another thing again. Good night.
Anybody say, Oh, yeah, he wants it. I'm a battery, only be one. 